phase was around. Today we were talking about things that matter to moms and our mom's segment of the day. And ladies, 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 I am here with Cynthia, Janine, and no web me. Hi. Hello. 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 Okay. Getting right into it. Breastfeeding. I did it. My babies never had a bottle. It was just breast to cut. Breast to cut. How long? It took us like farm to table. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Breast to cut. <laughs> It's like a new logo on sustainable. It is. You should start a restaurant that says it breastfeeding. Isn't that great? <laughs> great. It's the best thing. That's so good. how long did you breastfeed? Okay. Well, I mean, you breastfeed into a point where they start to get salads, but you're still breastfeeding. So right. I, but total, I breastfed really until they were like, 15. totally weaned was like 18 months. So it was probably a little bit longer than maybe most people, but mm -hmm. it was just a weaning process because they had never had a bottle, so it wasn't like I could ever supplement. Um, you know, it was just you, you know getting food. Time? I did. Cindy, so what do you think about breastfeeding? Um, personally, I think there's a lot of benefits to doing breastfeeding. However, for me, I didn't do it. Um, one of the main reasons why I chose not to um, was not because I didn't think it was a good thing. It was just more because I was used to picking up and going all the time. And for me to even decide just to have a baby and be ready for it, um, that was a hard move for me. And then let alone, I was thinking, if I'm gonna be breastfeeding, all of this time commitment that I have to do um, to make sure that their bottles are prepped, I, I, I thought it might have led me into a depression if I mm. would have done it. Mm. So were you working at the time or stay at home? Or? I have always been working, so that mm -hmm. was part of the reason. Um, I have a busy schedule. It's harder when you're working. Exactly. That was really the yeah. so combination. Can you do a combination? You can do it. I did you a combination. I, I breastfed for 14 months, and then, but when I went back to teaching, you know, which was a little bit easier than doing TV, I gradually, and I was pumping in public bathrooms. I was, it was, you know, excuse me, <laughs> please, you know, I know you ain't trying to look, but you know, I'm just trying to pump. And you know, you can't do anything about it. You just. But you know what? If I would have been more informed, um, being that it was my first time being a mom when I made mm. that decision, um, I, I think that there could have been ways that I could have actually scheduled um, and, and made arrangements where I could have taken the time to pump so that it would have fit in my schedule. Mm. But you know, I didn't know about it until later. Mm -hmm. So really, so because uh, isn't it out there a lot now that it's so much better for the health of the child? Oh, it's all over the place. I mean, in fact, today I was just reading up on it, and I mean, there's so many benefits, and then maybe that at that time, if I would have known those things, maybe yeah. I would have had a different approach and maybe made more of an effort to do it. Because kids are the most important thing. But, but I think, look, I think people are always quick to judge. And I think that, I mean, from the benefits of doing it, it was the most incredible thing I did with my son. But f from listening to your perspective on it, it's very, very interesting. Because, you know, at some point, you do want to do what's right for you. Especially, you know, maybe you don't know these things out here. But, you know, people are, they got to judge their own situation. Yeah, yeah, but it is true that if the information is out there, at least, we, you know, I mean, we went through the 50s all this time where there was no idea that actually the natural breast milk was so just superior yeah. in so many ways that at least it should be you know, widespread knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Well, so it is. I mean, I, it's just sad to me that they didn't give you more information. And because I know when I it. went through it, it was like the lactation nurses were there at the hospital. Right after you had the baby. Right there, like, helping me do it. And open, teaching, open you know. I mean, it's really awkward. It's someone you don't know, and they're trying to fit the boob in the baby's mouth. Wow. And you're like, well, you're being a little bit, you're doing a little much. <laughs> See, and but that was helpful. the thing. I think huh. it might even depend upon the hospital that you go and that hurts. Oh, I can't say yeah. that. <laughs> Rip it right onto it. But they yeah. just kind of, they, they kind of just forced, not forced me, but instead of like educating me about the benefits, it was more of like, here's your lactation or she's going to come in and they were just, boom, oh. here, we're going to try to teach you how to do it. And more, instead of like focusing on the benefits of it, you know, mm -hmm. your kid has less chance of, you know, getting, or less, less times that they would be sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's also great for the mother. It actually it's helps fabulous. the mother get back to their pre-pregnancy uh, shape uh, much quicker. I, 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 yeah. yeah. I was yeah. smaller after mm -hmm. than what I was before I had it. Shrinks the tummy. Shrinks the tummy. Yeah. Like a month later, mm -hmm. you're like back to what you should be. Yeah. Um, so what do you guys think about implants? 
I'm I think him. if you're going to do it, do it after you are totally done I nursing. I agree. Because if you are going to be having more kids and the breasts are going to be changing and all that with would implants. You in, would you guys get implants? I, I thought about it once. So yeah. I. So I. I think I <laughs> when I was competing, knew. I had lost a lot of body fat. Oh, you know, yeah. The competition. You're actually like, oh. And, it, you know, everybody around me was doing it. It was, you know, the only way to really add your femininity back when you had all this muscle, muscle. and everything. Yeah. Um, but I didn't do it, and I'm glad I didn't at that time. Yeah, yeah I am. I'm glad. Because they came back. You can grow them back. On that one, we're going to go to commercial. <laughs> uh, there will be more information on the website if you'd like more information on this subject matter. You can go to daysisandwell.com. We'll see you guys all in a little bit.